Forever seems like a long time But nothing seems like a long time When I am with you I feel like I'm walking on water Since the day that I asked your father To let go of his daughter So give me your blessing, sir I'll give her all that I've got It doesn't look like much But it sure feels like a lot Let her take my heart
represents Jenny and Micah to be married to Patrick John Maolion today. Okay, Patrick, you can take Micah now. We are gathered here today in the sight of God and the presence of friends and loved ones to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. We are here to give recognition to the value and beauty of love, to give our best wishes and blessings to the words that will unite Danny Ann Micah Rontale and Patrick John Mollion in holy matrimony. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we glorify you, Lord, in our lives. We honor you. We acknowledge your very presence in our midst, O oh God. We believe, Lord God, that you are here with us, and because you are the God who is the author of marriage, that we are chosen are gathered together in your name. You are in the midst of them. Father, we thank you for this great gift, perfect gift that you have given us, Lord, to the wedding, O oh Father God, of Patrick and Micah. Indeed, this is a blessing that comes from you. And we offer it all unto you, Father. We dedicate every part of this. Holy Spirit, be our great programmer. And thank you so much that the spirit of excellence, Lord, of love, joy, peace, and strength, your very glorious presence around us, O oh God. We bless you, we honor you. Into your hands, we commit this all and be the center of everything. We love you, Father, in Jesus' name, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let us remain standing for the reading of the word found in 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not dishonors others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps, keeps no records of wrongs, love does not delight in evil but rejoices with truth, it always protects always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. Patrick and Micah, marriage is the most important of all earthly relationships. It should be entered into reverently, thoughtfully, and with full understanding of its sacred nature. Your marriage must stand by the strength of your love and the power of faith in God and with each other. Just as two threads are woven in opposite directions to form a beautiful tapestry, so will your two lives, when merged together, will make a beautiful marriage. I have witnessed, Micah, you grow up into this wonderful woman and I have seen how you began with your relationship with Patrick. And I have also seen all the hardships that you both had to go through and everything that you have endured together. And I have seen how you both came out of the other side as victors. I have seen you both grow into these two wonderful couple raising your son. And I know and I believe that you will continue to do this together as you today start a new chapter in your life. God had a marvelous plan when he brought you two together. He knew exactly what you needed to make you both complete. And now he wants you to commit yourselves to each other as the one that he has chosen to complete each other. Man has defined love in multiple ways through poems and songs. However, I believe that God is the beginner and the writer of true love stories. In his word in 1 Corinthians 13, we have heard earlier that the kind of love that it describes, a love that is patient, a love that is kind, a love that endures all things, and a love that endures everything. A love that binds you together, not just in material things, not just in emotions, but in spirit and in your physical form. 
we should all aim for that type of love. And as you both together aim for that type of love, it will turn your marriage into a joyous and marvelous one. Today, we reignite your commitment to one another. And so, Micah and Patrick, please face each other and hold each other's hands. Patrick, do you take Micah to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Do you promise to love her and support her and encourage her, sharing the good times and the achievements as well as the challenges and disappointments? Do you promise to care for her in sickness and in sorrow and be faithful to her all the days of your life? If you do, please respond, I do. I do. And Micah, do you take Patrick to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Do you promise to love and support him and encourage him, sharing the good times and the achievements, as well as the challenges and disappointments? Do you promise to care for Patrick in sickness and in sorrow and be faithful to him and him alone all the days of your life? If you do, please respond, I do. I do. And so Patrick, if you will love Micah as Christ loves the church, and Micah, if you will respond to Patrick as unto the Lord, your companionship as husband and wife will blossom into a physical, emotional, and spiritual closeness beyond which nothing can compare. Today, you both have chosen to write your own vows, and it is with these words you both express your binding promises to love honor and cherish one another if you're ready to make these intentions and these promises i now ask you both to declare your intentions when you're ready patrick you may begin hello to my most beautiful wife here in senator puerto plata and the whole world now and forever at last after two years of waiting our dreams and prayers to be married in front of our friends and relatives has been realized so much obstacle we had encountered, COVID, lockdown, storm, and many more are trying to be in our way, but God has always provided us. It's sunny today. <laughs> Before I say my bow, I would like to thank God for giving you to me. We have known each other already for almost a decade, got married for two years, and still you never leave my side. I admit sometimes no, most of the time, I act not as your husband, but your eldest son, brother of Jairjan. <laughs> I make bad decisions, selfish decisions, and we end up having discussion, but still you are patient with me. I'm not worthy of your love, but you still choose me. Thank you for understanding me. And also, thank you for your parents, my parents-in-law for accepting me to be your husband. I assume they already know the true me. Most of all, I thank God for giving us JJ. He is indeed the blessing for us. His smile, his facial expressions make our bad day good. So right now, Micah, this is my vows to you. I'm not going to promise anything because I know you know already Promises are meant to be broken. I am not good at promises. All I know and I will do is to love you and JJ. Provide for you as long as I am able. Assist and support you on all that you want. Shopping, vacations, study, and anything else in the future. I may not be a good or perfect husband or even a father to JJ, but I will try to be true every day. With God's help, I will change for the better. It may not be overnight, but I will do my best. You know, I won't be complete without you. My weaknesses is your, is my, is your strength, and your strength is my weaknesses. I will love you as God loves us. 
till death do us part. No one will break us apart. In sickness and in health, we will support each other. We will be beside each other. For richer and for poorer, we will provide and share for each other. In God's will, you, me, and JJ, and our future baby boy or girl will be a happy family. I pray that God will always guide us, protect us, and provide for us. In the end, may God's will be done. I love you, Danian Mai Carontale. Te amo, Danian Mai Carontale, for la eternidad. <laughs> Patrick, we now have been together for seven years and married for two. I remember when you used to write me love letters, your endearment to me was asawa ko, or my wife in English. Little did we know that on May 2021, we would get married, and you get to call me your wife, and now we have one baby. Throughout the years of our relationship, we had our share of arguments, misunderstandings, shortcomings, and going through our differences. But despite of all the challenges and obstacles that were thrown our way, we remained steadfast in our love and made us even stronger. Today, we stand in front of our parents, families, friends, and in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ to proclaim and promise our love for one another. First of all, I want to thank you for loving me, for staying by my side, and never leaving me during my darkest days. I want to thank you for being the father of a family of three, for providing and going beyond our needs. As God gave you the authority, as you submit to him, I submit to you. I promise to support you, to honor and love you as my husband. I vow to respect you as a whole person with your own interests, needs, and desires that are as important as mine. I promise to be open to you, to let you into my innermost feelings, fears, and dreams. I vow to always pray for you and with you for our family. I'll always be with you when you're feeling down. I'll hold your hand when you're afraid. I will comfort you at your lowest, and I will rejoice with you at your highest. Patrick, I love you until we're wrinkled, old, and gray. You are my homie. I love you so much with the love of the Lord. You can open it. You can open it. Though small in size, rings are very large in significance. Made of precious metals, they remind us that love is not cheap, but generous. Made in a circle, their design tells us that love must never come to an end. As you wear these rings each day, may it be a constant reminder of the promises that you just made to each other today. Patrick. Please take the ring and place it on Micah's finger as a token of your love and commitment to her. Just as the ring surrounds her finger, so you are to surround her life with strength and support. Patrick, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our vow. As a symbol of our vow. And with all of I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honor, you. I honor you. Now, Micah, please take the ring and place it on Patrick's finger, as a symbol of your love and affection. Just as this ring surrounds his finger, so you are to surround him with encouragement and supporting love. Micah, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am, and, with all that I am, and, all, that I have, and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. Today, you guys also decided to do a unity chord. In Ecclesiastes 4, verses 9 to 12, it says, Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, 
for he has no one to help him up. Again, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? The one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him. And threefold cord is not quickly broken. Let this cord be, remi be a reminder of both your commitment to each other today. As you look at it each and every day, whenever you have a hard time or a happy time, especially when you're going through something so difficult during your marriage, let it be a constant reminder of the vows that you have made today. Let it be a constant reminder of the love that you have already cherished and strengthened throughout the years. And so that whenever you have a problem in the future and you look at this, place it in your tapestry, place it in your bedroom, so that when you're going through something and you're trying to think of giving up, you look at that cord and you say, I've made a vow, I've made a love, and I will protect it. So you two can tie now your unity cords together. John. Today, that merging of those three chords symbolizes the merging of your loves into one. May it remind you of your commitment to support and uplift, uplift each other throughout your journey together. Now, I would like to ask everyone to please stretch forth their hands as we say a quick prayer and blessings to the couple. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the lives of Micah and Patrick that you have joined together today. Lord, I pray that you would continuously guide them. Give them the wisdom that they need as they go through their lives as their married couple. Let you be the one to guide them as they make decisions about their family. Let you be the one to guide them and give them wisdom as, they're as they both make future decisions together. Let you be the one to remind them each and every day that Today, they are not living as one individual people, but instead they are living as one couple made together through your love and through your blessing. So Lord God, we pray that you would continuously bless their married life together and their family. And I pray that you would continuously give them the strength to battle through all of life's challenges. In Jesus' name, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Now that Patrick and Micah have given themselves to each other by sharing their vows before us and before God, having shown their affection and trust by giving and exchanging of the rings by the power of God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man separate. Patrick, now you may kiss your bride. I'll tell the world I'll sing a song. It's a better place since you came along. Since you came along. Everything's alright when you're with me And I, you're my favorite thing oh, 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 the love that you bring Well, it feels like I've opened my eyes again And the colors are golden and bright again There's a song in my heart, I feel like I belong It's a better place since you came along 
a better place since you came along I see the heart in your eyes It's like I've known you all my life We just feel so right So I pour my heart into your hands It's like you really understand You love the way I am